Hello, my drum playing peoples. It's Mr. Fitz. And uh, the reason for this video today is to help you to master page six in your drum book and get you on your way to be an, an excellent drummer. All right, now, there's some videos that came before this one that explain how to hold the sticks and how to get your basic stroke going. Uh, but now we're gonna talk about reading the notes and counting and placing the notes on the correct beats. All right, so I'm just gonna open the book here. Oh, there's a practice record sheet that's good, that's important. All right, now we gotta find page six. I'm in my basement. That's how I roll. Okay, so <clears throat> here we go. So you notice that there's a lot of information up on the top of the page. We really don't need to worry a lot about that except for two things, the quarter note and the quarter rest. And as you can see, it says <clears throat> each quarter note gets one count in four, four time. And then each quarter rest gets one count in four, four time. And I use the term beats a lot of times instead of the, the word count, okay? Just so that, you know, those words are kind of interchangeable. Basically, when you see something like this, the drum is gonna play four notes, all right? I'm just gonna play that for you, uh, these four notes right here, okay? So listen to how this sounds. One and two and three and four and, okay? Now you notice that as I played the drum, I was saying a number, either a one or a two or a three or a four, and then I followed that immediately with the word an, like an elephant, A-N. Okay, so listen again. I'm gonna play these four notes right here. Here I go. One and two and three and four and, all right? So that's how quarter notes sound. They make one sound and they get one count, okay? Now, here we have the quarter rests, and these are one count, but they're silent. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna say these, but you won't hear any sound except for me counting. So here goes, ready? One and two and three and four and. Pretty cool, huh? If I do these notes followed immediately by these rests, it'll sound like this. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Now, if you understand how that works, if that makes sense to you, the rest of the page is basically just mixing and matching the four beats in each what we call measure. Okay, they talk about measures up here. They're just like the little compartments that each have four counts in them, or four beats. <clears throat> and there can be combinations of notes or rests. Okay, if you look down the page, you'll see it starts out with four quarter notes followed by four quarter rests. And they're having you just practice using either your right stick or your left stick. So that's not too bad, right? So we're just mixing them up. Once you get to line number four, what happens is they want you to use alternating sticks. So you'd either go right, left, right, left, or you'd go left, right, left, right. And so in this example here, we'd play this whole song doing one of those stickings. Okay, once we get to the end, then we're all done, but then we do it again and just switch to the other sticking, okay? Doesn't matter which one you do first, but you want to do both of them. Okay, in line number five, it's just continuous notes, no rests at all. All right, you really have to keep track. One of the things I always tell students is this, especially with drumming, you want to look at each note and each rest as you say it and as you play it. Okay, if you do that, you won't lose your spot and you'll find it's very easy to play. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the camera around, try to get it so that you can see me I'm gonna kind of fool with things here. My, my basement's a little bit of a mess, but like I said, that's how I roll. All right, and I'm gonna play um, <clears throat> line number four for you with the upper sticking, all right? Now, um, once I do that, I'll probably pause this and, and then just continue on, on to the next one, all right? So here goes, get ready for Mr. Fitz performing four score, all right? And you, you can watch me, but also try to watch your notes in your book. So here I am. Yay. And I'm hoping that this comes out that you'll be able to see me. There's a bass trombone here. Let me just move that a little bit. I don't want that to fall on the floor. And I'm actually playing on one of my workbenches here. <clears throat> so hopefully you can see this. I'm trying to angle this so the sticks can be visible. All right, so here it goes. This is line number four, four score. And I'm going to start with my right stick. Here it goes. One and two and three and four and 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 
One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And I hope you noticed that what I did was I, I read the notes. I was looking, if you were watching my eyes, I, the, the page is right next to the camera. I had my eyes right on every note and on every rest. I didn't look away, I didn't look around to see what else was happening in the room. I'm focused right on that, and that's key. So now that I did that, now I'm gonna reverse my sticking and start with my left stick. <clears throat> also, I give myself a four count, kind of starting what we call count off. So here goes. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And